Okay, welcome to Martin D. State Park again. We were here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this time I've got uh, a site on this side. Uh, I guess the south side of the road. Site 141. Oh, straight ahead. Tent sites 141. Looks like a pretty busy place today, uh, judging by the people checking in. Now. Straight ahead still, okay. Forty one. One or two. Oh, I've got a ways to go. Oh, I think I know where I am. Yeah, I'm around the corner. I'm not going to get any of these nice sights right on the water. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the better park, uh, part of this park. Um, the other side isn't as pretty. This side is the side that's got the, uh, the nice waterfront tent sites. Excellent. Can't get them though, you've got to book long in advance. Yeah. One time I was here, I parked, I was, uh, I think I had a sight up, up, up ahead. Restrooms. Yeah, there's a restroom right there. Park host. I had this sight with this blue truck. <laughs> I've got 141 now, so nothing is nice. Do not enter. 135. Yeah, probably not a crappy sight. One thirty eight, one forty, one forty one. So it's this one right here. Not bad, though, compared to last time. Just that it's a little bit away from the from the restroom. I thought it was closer, but no. More camping fun. I just uh, checked in here at Martin D's again, just two weeks after the last uh, camping trip. And this is site 141, um, uh, marginally better than the last one. Uh, at least it's got some trees and some, some shade. Um, closest washroom is not too far away, but it's not really a washroom. It's just a toilet and a urinal. There's no sink. Anyway, 
Let's get set up. This site 141 has turned out to be a primitive site. I didn't really realize that uh, there's not even water here. Uh, I knew there was no electricity, but I thought that there might be water, but there's no water here. The nearest water spigot is one and a half sites over. So <laughs> it'll be interesting when time comes to wash dishes. And tonight I didn't bring one of those, um, uh, you know, you pour the water into the, uh, what do you call it, freeze-dried meals, that like I did last time uh, with that terrible uh, green curry. This time I brought um, something a little bit uh, heavier because it's actually cooked, but it's something that my wife found in the uh, grocery store, I guess. She picks up these things, uh, you know, they're on sale or, or something like that. Like, um, I'll show you later on what it is, but um, again, it's a kind of a vegan dish. Uh, but it's a chickpea, it's a chickpea type curry and um, some fancy rice or something like that. So the vegan curry, you warm it up in boiling water and the rice you kind of stir fry in a pan. So I'm going to have at least one dish, one pan to, to wash. And um, I'm not going to eat out of a plate. I think I'm going to eat out of the same pan. So um, to minimize the dish washing. But other than that, I mean, uh, now it's pollen season, so the trees are, are kind of, well, I don't think I've got any trees that are sprouting this yellow pollen that we get here in the Houston area. It's all over my truck at home. Um, uh, but still, you know, it's, it's a lot of pollen uh, that's going to be given off in the morning. Um, maybe my bike would be all covered with it. I don't know. I didn't bring my, I didn't think to bring my, uh, my cover. But even then, you know, if I bring a cover, then you got the cover is full of, of pollen. Then you got to deal with that. So, but, uh, and then the mosquitoes are out too. So I've got my bug spray sprayed on and hopefully that's going to hold them off. Uh, they've been hanging around still, so I have to reapply it again. But, uh, yeah, what a pain. <laughs> but anyway, I got my stuff. I got my radio here. I'm listening to some music. I have to turn that off because I don't want to get, uh, you know, copyright strike or anything like that. So I'll turn that off for now. It's about 4.30 now, so it's a little while before I, I make supper. I got the tent all set up, everything is, well, I got the tent set up, but uh, I don't have anything put away or set up inside yet. So I'll do that in a little while. But um, yeah, it should be good. At least the temperature is really nice. It's, uh, I don't know, it's about 60 and uh, very pleasant. There's some breeze here. Um, in this case here, I wish I had some more breeze <laughs> to, to blow away the mosquitoes, but anyway. So I wasn't planning on doing a product review, but I've had this for years. It's always been in my kit and I never did use it. I'm going to try it today because these bugs are getting on my nerves. Here's the result. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to work. It's, I mean, it's just a net that goes all around your head and <laughs> we'll see uh, my head is in a, in a bug net uh, the rest of my body is pretty much covered and plus they're not bothering me to that extent uh, you know on my exposed feet and hands so so this should work uh, if it keeps it off of my face then that's good for a short walk down to the water side. Beautiful evening, it's a little bit chilly, but uh, not long before sunset now. And um, I've got to get supper on the go before I lose all light. At least down here, there's no mosquitoes or midges or whatever the heck is going on flying around. So, man, it's pretty bad where we are. We are in the, the camp sites and uh, kind of like in the trees, amongst the trees, so that's all today. 
These are the premium tent sites, I guess. No RVs here, but only tents. And I think each one of those sites have a, have a water hookup. Now the other side of the park is over there, on the other side of that, uh, that road over there. You can see the road in the distance. So that's where I was I camped last uh, last two weeks ago. Supper tonight is saffron road chickpea masala. It's a chana masala, authentic Indian chana masala, vegan. It's got these uh, nutrition facts on the back. And in this particular case here, it says stove top place sealed uh, pouch in boiling water for five minutes. So I guess the water's got to be boiling. And you got to keep it in there. So this is the first time I'm using this this uh, pot. So I got to get some boiling water in there to go with the uh, the masala, chana masala. I've got the seeds of change, organic Spanish-style rice with quinoa, peppers, and corn. So this looks pretty good. Pretty interesting. Both of these packets are not freeze-dried. Uh, there's some moisture in these. Uh, <laughs> that one's got liquid in it. This and uh, this, this here is kind of. I can feel it through the packet. It's uh, it's kind of moist. This one here, I think that uh, to prepare this, you've got to saute. You've got to saute the uh, the rice in the pan. Yeah, with using some two tablespoons of water or something like that. Stir and heat thoroughly. So what I intend to do is do it in that. It's got lots of space. And um, and then I'm gonna pour this on top of the rice that's in there. So I only have one dish to wash. It's pretty good. This is the first time I'm using this pot. Remember I uh the previous one that I had. Uh, the lid was all buckled because I'd used the lid on this when I was frying up some eggs. But I since got another one and I sold the other pot with lid. Somebody bought it for about 10 bucks. Uh, the lid was buckled a little bit, but the pot was still perfectly new because it was never used. But this one here, you can see that the, the lid just goes on perfectly. And uh, yeah. I'm not going to be using that on this. That's for sure. So while I'm waiting for this thing to boil, um, as you can see, I'm wearing this bug net. It's working, it's, it's been working pretty darn good. I haven't had any flies going into my ears, uh, into my, you know, eyes and stuff like that, and nothing's been biting me, so. so it's pretty good, actually. Um, thumbs up for this bug net. Had this thing boiling for about three minutes so I think I'm gonna take this off now and then start the uh, sauteing of this thing in water so I'm uh, <laughs> I got my headlight so if you see that light uh, at the top of the pan that's what that is but uh, yeah I've been stirring this here with uh, with my spoon and hopefully it's getting warm through I'm uh, I don't have a lid I'm going to have to look for an 8 inch uh, uh, aluminum uh, pot cover or something uh, because I really need to cover this pan. But anyway, um, it's coming along pretty good. It looks pretty good. So that's pretty much warm through now and I've got this. I'm going to just dump this on top of that and we're going to have supper. And there you have it. Supper tonight. Uh, let me see if I can get the lighting a little bit better for you. There we go. Smells great. And hmm, all vegan. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes compared to the uh, to the freeze-dried stuff. Actually, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, I must say, quite an improvement over uh, the last 
uh, meal that I had, the freeze dried stuff. This is actual food. So I'm gonna enjoy this now, then have a cup of tea afterwards. Good morning, folks. Got up uh, or woke up at seven o'clock and it's now 7.40. Uh, temperature outside is about 40 degrees, uh, but in the tent is 54. So the monger does keep some heat in and uh, that's well appreciated. Um, excellent sleep, much better than the first night. Um, I don't know what the sleep report is yet, but uh, I'll check it out in a minute. I'll put it up on the screen here. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I had the the mattress um, or the sleeping pad uh, inflated pretty much like last time, but uh, I don't know, maybe it was cool or what, but um, I slept with, with uh, less clothes this time. Didn't have any top on, just had my underwear on and uh, yeah, it was, it was, more comfortable than the last time where it was a little bit warmer if that makes sense <laughs> it was a little bit warmer in the tent i think but i had a more restless sleep last time but uh yeah um it's time to start packing up and uh getting some breakfast on the go and um and then heading on out bacon and toast yeah. bacon and bread and boiled eggs this morning and my boiled eggs here. Coffee, bar, banana, bread. Cool, and I got some creamer. Started bringing creamer for coffee. Toasting the bread in the fire, in the frying pan. Doubles up as cleaning the grease out of the bacon grease out of the fire pan, frying pan. <laughs> Not very healthy, but it works. Butter is pretty hard this morning. <laughs> Tried putting it in my pocket, this container, but uh, it didn't warm up enough it was pretty much frozen last night this is still going it's coming along nice i think i'm getting out of gas anyway i'm gonna pull it off now this green bomb here has lasted several trips time for a new one so breakfast is almost assembled i got my toast i got my bacon i'm gonna make a little sandwich here now put this on top of this yeah and then eat my boiled eggs and I'm good to go. I got another canister of uh, of gas, so I'm gonna put the uh, the little kettle on, the little kettle there. Put that kettle on to boil, and I'll have coffee in time for when I'm finished eating this excellent breakfast. Look at that egg, perfect. Bacon sandwich is perfect. Eggs perfect. Water's on the boil for coffee. This is good. Finally had to break out my little, I don't know, this is a one gallon uh, container, a collapsible water container. So that works out great. You can even hang it, of course. I don't know how strong that thing is, but <clears throat> you can hang it up on the, on the pole like that if you want. That pole people usually hang the garbage. But this is good for sites like this where you don't have any any water. People next door got up, jumped into their car and drove off. I guess they're going for breakfast. They looked over as I was uh, cooking my bacon and the bacon smells were wafting over from my stove here over to their site. <laughs> I guess when they go, they've got little kids too, so they've got a lot of, you know, effort, high effort, I guess. But no cooking, I guess. I take that back. They're back. <laughs> Due to the time they were gone, they probably just went to the washroom. It's unbelievable how people wouldn't even walk to the washroom when they come camping. So, this big pot here will serve as my wash basin because I'm not going to take out my big collapsible wash basin just for these couple of dishes. That needs to be washed, that needs to be washed, that needs to be washed. And these two don't really need to be washed. So I'm good to go. Well, after that great breakfast, I'm having a cup of coffee, got my dishes done. And uh, I'm gonna finish packing up afterwards. It's been, turned out to be a pretty good uh, 
camping trip this time. Uh, I see the flies are back. Apparently these flies, whatever they, uh, they were, they come out in the day. And uh, last night when I was uh, in the dark, um, you know, grabbing my uh, tea and uh, having finished off my supper, they weren't there. I had my net up and they weren't bothering me. So I don't know what they are. I don't think they're mosquitoes, but we'll see how many bites I get after this trip. Beautiful morning though. What's the time? 9.33. Good time. People walking their dogs. There was something rustling about in these uh, bushes next to my tent. Let me show you the tent. So I got my tent pitched here and I heard all kinds of rustling over there after the guy next door moved out. He never even stayed uh, overnight. He uh, he had set up his, his hammock tent, his hammock, you know, uh, set up and he had a separate tent and everything. He had his, all his food laid out there on the table over there. And uh, I don't know, by about six o'clock, 6.30, he started packing up <laughs> and he took off. He finished leaving probably around, I don't know, 7.30. So I don't know if the flies got to him or, or what, what the problem was, but anyway. Yeah, this is my site and uh, it's not too bad. Uh, lots of trees around here. This morning I saw a, a rabbit run from that and then went off into the bushes. And then this morning as I was laying, just before I got up, I, uh, oh, I can see there's a little fly just landed on my fingers. These are little flies, some kinds of flies. But anyway, uh, yeah, I heard some kind of rustling right, right probably around there, right outside my tent. It was just becoming uh, light at that time. So, and there's lots of nice woods back here for animals. There's the sights and so on behind there anyway. This is a campground, state park. People are back there, I think they're putting, they're taking down their, their camp. Yep. Well, I took the fly sheet off and the fly sheet is totally wet on the inside from condensation and uh because it was high humidity last night if you check the uh um the screen that i had before from the uh govi you'd see that it was pretty high humidity and uh but the inside the inner tent perfectly dry perfectly comfortable yeah excellent tent well i'm off uh it's been a great camping uh trip and uh, site 141 turned out to be not too bad, but still, it says water was at the site and there was no water. So I had to use my one gallon water container, which is not a problem. It's just false advertising by the, by the state park. Anyway, uh, it's 11 o'clock now and should take about an hour and a half to get home.
I'm back from uh, my latest camping trip and just wanted to end this video by saying how pleased I am with these SW Motic Sys Bag WP uh, panniers and the removable racks. Um, I've been out now for a few trips um, since installing these things on my bike and I think they're the best, the best things that, uh, the best pannier systems that for me anyway, um, I haven't dropped the bike on the, on the panniers yet, so I don't know how durable they are, but in terms of, of um, touring and, and camping and that kind of stuff, it's very convenient, especially when the bike is being used as a commuter as well, which my bike is. Um, I'm now going to take these cis bags off and then remove the panniers, and then it'll be back to a naked bike, you know, no, no structure on it. And... Um, that's exactly how I like it. Um, I don't like to see these pannier racks hanging on to the bike with no panniers on them. Um, as for uh, traveling with them, I just finished 100 and, I don't know, 125 or, or so miles uh, from the campground. Um, and yeah, cruising 75 miles an hour and uh, it was perfect. So uh, yeah, the Tiger does well. And uh, you know, with the panniers and I usually have my, uh, my, what's it, an Oxford dry bag, um, a 40 liter dry bag right on the back seat here and my tent on top. Uh, and I think that that setup works for me um, <clears throat> perfectly. I can go indefinitely. Uh, I just got to bring a little bit more clothes and, and, and I can be on the road indefinitely uh, with this setup. Uh, I've got everything I need uh, inside the panniers. And uh, yeah, this setup works. I think I've pretty much optimized it now. Um, one of the things that I've included is the uh, the Big Atness Rapid SL uh, sleeping pad, and so far that has worked out quite well. Um, for the camping that I'm going to be doing, uh, it's an insulated pad, so it's not it's it's perfectly warm. Like last night, I think it it dropped down to as low as 39, and um, it was perfect. I was I was you know with my down sleeping bag, uh, everything was great. So that reduces the amount of gear that I've got to bring because I don't have to bring my cot. Um, I still like my cot, but uh, uh, this sleeping pad has really made a big difference. So yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, I continue to be very pleased with these SW Motec uh, Pioneer system. Anyway, uh, this is it for this video. Um, if you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Keep the shiny side up. Take care and stay safe.